All right, guys, let's just take a look at how CAM is integrating with this E850 power supply. So if you guys have used CAM, then this is probably looking pretty familiar at this point. You've got the various, you know, this is your home screen when you first get into the software. So if we're going to look for power, we go to this little icon down here and voila, we are in the power supply. So one of the things I thought was pretty cool was that NZXT did not have to have a special driver installed for their power supply. It just was there and it just knew it and found it. And because like the crack in grid plus, sometimes you have to make sure you check box. Hey, I'm installing this. Make sure the driver's there. So not with their power supply. I thought that was kind of interesting. Um, when you have it in the regular mode, you're going to see your CPU usage, you're going to see your GPU usage, you got then the others, and then your total wattage that's being used. So, and then of course you've got this little graph that's just going across and showing you, and you can put your mouse at any point in the line and see what the wattage was at that point. So yeah, nifty little feature there to actually see. So if we're going to run like say a stress test, once I pop this thing on, and I start going to 100% CPU mode. And, you know, with everything that is uh, happening on my desktop right now, trying to capture at the same time, it might error out like that because it's not going to like me running a bunch of monitoring software. At the same time, I'm trying to run a CPU stress test. It, it's just going to, it's just going to get ugly. But that said, now we're starting to really see that. And that's why I wanted to show you guys right there. You can see now we've got our CPU usage has come all the way up. And we can just see in real time how the wattage has increased. So I'm going to turn that off now because, like I said, I do not think uh, <laughs> this computer likes me screen capturing and running a stress test at the same time. So yeah, bingo, that's pretty easy. If you go into advanced mode, then you can actually see like your currents on your three volts, your five volts. You've got your 12 volt other, which is gonna be things like your Molex and SATA connections. There's your CPU, there's your GPU, there's your three 12 volt rails. When you enable multi-rail OCP, so this is overcurrent protection, you can, so I'm gonna say I agree. I can set how many amps I want to go to my my at a maximum to any of my components so what this will do is this will prevent a component from pulling more amps than it should damaging the component if for some reason a fail safe went off went bad and say like your cpu or your motherboard or in one of the graphics cards it's pretty interesting and the 60 amps based on the testing even i did with crossfire looks like it's more than enough to handle a couple of graphics cards and more than enough to handle the CPU. So yeah, interesting little protection. Although I have a feeling the protections that are built in are going to be strong enough to handle your system anyway, that extra bit of protection though is going to be nice. Now the other thing you can do is if you come over here to cooling, you can also control the fan. So if I select the fan, it's going to let me come over here and set a profile. And we've got a choice to do silent. We've got the performance one. And then you can also do a fixed mode. And fixed at 100% is kind of loud. And then, of course, you can set your own custom. I find the silent profile to be just fine anyway. But it is pretty cool that you can set those, um, those profiles on your own to kind of whatever you want. So yeah, not a bad deal at all. Software is looking pretty nice. Um, one thing I would love to see still, and this has kind of been one of my complaints about cam in general, I would love to see an average though. I like to have like a minimum, a maximum, and average values. And so, and if I can just add, bring up another program, oh hey look, I got a release there. If I bring up HW Info, I can show you exactly what I am looking at here. So if, I, if I'm monitoring, say, CPU temperatures, here's my current, here's my minimum, here's my maximum, and here's my average. And then if I want to reset this timer so I can do a very specific average over a very specific time frame, I can just hit this clock and it resets everything to zero. So I can start all my stress test, hit this clock button, and actually see, like, say, an average temperature. This would be amazing to have that on the cam because then what I could do is really really thoroughly test say like processing wattage or GPU efficiency because I can get the load started 
reset the timer, if I could reset the timer from the mobile app, then I can get a really solid average for reviewing. And this is going to bring me, though, to my only real question about this software with NZXT is, is it really that useful for average users? For reviewers, this is amazing. This is the best thing to ever happen because being able to, to check wattage on the CPU and GPU, for guys like me who can't afford the really expensive equipment to do this, I don't have to anymore. This, this is a permanent addition to my test bench now because I can add wattage power usage to GPU and CPU reviews because of this power supply. Amazing. Average guy building a computer doing gaming every day, is it going to be that useful? Uh, I don't know. I mean, maybe? I can't really tell. That's kind of up to you guys to tell, and you can just let me know in the comments below. But there you go, guys. That's your CAM software with this new, with NZXT's new E-Series power supplies. So hopefully that answers some questions for you. I'll catch you later.